Wars in a dangerous space time. This is another game um, just like Galaxy. Uh, PlayStation Plus gave this one away for free uh, sometime, I think, like 2017. Um, I played it for a few hours. Also played with a buddy. This is this is a game that's pr like made for multiplayer, like couch multiplayer too. The thing with this game is, you know, you're piloting a ship through space and you know shooting things, defending yourself. But the catch is, you have like four or five different sets of controls throughout your ship, but you're just one person. So you got to run around the ship controlling each component, and uh, it actually gets quite frantic. And the more people you have playing it, the better. Like it's so much fun coordinating different parts, aspects of the ship with your friends as you're trying to get this big ship through space safely. There's a reason why all of these games are put on IndieBox. IndieBox doesn't just take any indie developer, doesn't just take any indie game and throw it in a box. They take the best stuff. Like, all three of these games are solid. So, let's tear it on open, see what came with. Oh, and once again, got the uh, sticker here so you can download your game without opening the box. Which I'm clearly not doing. Alright, so, lovers in a dangerous space time. And uh, if you're not familiar with this game, it's very cutesy. As opposed to Galaxy, which is cartoony in the sense of like Saturday morning cartoon, like anime cartoony. This is cartoony like Adventure Time times cute. Like combined Adventure Time and cute and space and multiplayer. And then you have this game. So what do we have? Obviously, I'm gonna. Okay, we got the original soundtrack. Uh, love me some video game soundtracks. We have your assortment of stickers, your uh, lover's sticker, and of course your indie box sticker. This this is all right. This one's definitely themed after Lovers in Space Time Galaxy. This one, this indie box sticker is themed after Galaxy. The sticker. Th that, that that, that waifu sticker I, I joked at. This this character is not from Fury. Apparently they do try to theme the indie box sticker after the game it comes with, but this is not from Fury. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, you're making me furious. So uh, back, back to Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. We have, oh, a newsletter. So you can find out all the latest and greatest of IndieBox. Oh, and this is the manual. Look at that. that, that it's got some weight to it. Well, once again, full color manual, beautifully illustrated. In an age where your average game manual is maybe a page or two of black and white text, just telling you how to boot the thing up, to have a really good manual. I don't know, to me that that's just part of the package and any box understands that So we have another poster here. I'm just gonna jump straight to that. This one's definitely bigger than the one I was just looking at You know this one. This is cool. All right, so this is a uh, Basically a schematic of the ship that you're primarily uh, captaining or pioneering through space uh, your Ardor Dreadnought GBO Gumball Zero the Gumball Zero, that, that's that's just what this is. And these, you know, turret controls, shield controls, engine controls, cannon controls, yeah, these are for the different things you have to be using at any given time. So, one's here, one's there, one's there, one's there. So, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a frantic game, but it's also a definitely enjoyable game. Recommended. Um, next up, we have another, this is one of the little enemies that attacks your ship. I'm assuming this is, once again, the soundtrack. And once again, it's made of that, like, soft rubber. And, yep, USB, I assume the soundtrack is on there. Cool. Yeah. 
What did I not touch? So we've got a Lovers in this Dangerous Space Time uh, chain of sorts. Um, it's kind of like one of those uh, BFF necklaces. It's a heart broken in two. You each get to have one piece, and then you put them together. And may our powers combine! And last but not least, we have Dr. Hopsy Flopsy collector's figure. For all you fans of Dr. Hopsy Flopsy out there, this is the figure you've been waiting for. Oh, it's one of these like thin boxes. I'm afraid I'm gonna rip the cardboard. Up oh, there we go. Hey, yeah, look at that. There he is, Doctor Hopsy Flopsy. Come on now. There we are. Cool. All right. So he's mildly poseable. We've got the arms, glasses head. Alright, yeah, he's, he actually moves around a decent bit. Cool. I mean, maybe not when I put this up along my figurines of Kratos and the, the Cyber Demon from Doom and Link from Zelda. This doesn't quite feel like the same caliber of character. Um, in fact, if it didn't print his name on the base, I wouldn't even know who he is, but hey, it's cool. I'm sure you'll see him uh, appear later. So last up, yes, last, there's one more. Uh, Fury, I, like I said, Fury I got a long time ago, and these two plus the next game I got in a bundle. And the last one up is... Assault Android Cactus. Hey, thanks for watching to the end of my latest unboxing video. Would you buy this indie box physical release? Do the collectible seem worth it to you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And please, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about the next unboxing coming soon.